Hello, hello, hello. Once again, everybody, this is the EQ guy speaking. Hey, do you all recall last week me saying about the landfall of Tropical Storm Nipertak at northern Japan and how we then needed to watch that region for earthquakes? Well, I'm here to tell you all today, I hardly know more than said that. And a really big 8.2 struck the islands of Alaska region and while not causing damage to Japan, there was immediate tsunami alert which could easily have become a tsunami and may have been something the Japan Olympics would have needed to watch out for. But it ultimately resulted in no tsunami. So, next, a 5.0 on the Richter scale struck near Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan over the weekend and the epicenter was more or less exactly where we are watching. Could be more shaking to come and this alert will run beyond the end of the Olympics for that region of northern Japan, too. There was a 3.3 Richter's earthquake that struck near Christchurch and 5.1 further north, more near Auckland, New Zealand this week, where the line between the Pacific and Indo-Australian tectonic plate runs directly between the north and south islands of New Zealand there, too. So anytime a lot of potential seismic energy heads up towards Nepal India and Burma, it could also mean potential movement of the Indo-Australian tectonic plate, the northern half of which is in fact the Indian Ocean tectonic plate, southern half the Australian tectonic plate, and they act as one. Today I'm asserting that it's my own opinion that tectonic plate then meets with the Pacific tectonic plate right there in the middle of New Zealand. With the result today being that 5.1 and 3.3 near Auckland and Christchurch, respectively. And, while not expecting more bigger for New Zealand, there was that 8.1 Alaska Island shaker, so we know movement around the Pacific tectonic plate is also very much possible and happening. Next up, in the always shaking world of earthquakes and potential seismic energy will be the August new moon coming soon. With the exact moment, Sunday, August 8th, at 8.51 p.m. Central, 9.51 Eastern Time. Therefore, what I call the new moon window will start late Saturday, August 7th at those same times and result in at least somewhat of an increase in pull or the more full, the more pull, as I always like to say until someone said that the new moon should have the same amount of pull as when it is full. So be watching, especially this weekend, for lots of shaking, and California and Nevada are two of the places that seem to like to shake with those full and new moon. That's this week's edition of The Greatest Show on Earthquakes with me, the EQ Guy. Hello, hello, hello. The microphone's over here. I might be over here talking. And thank you for watching. Uh, I gotta get out of here. That's a cut. Thanks for watching.